Hi everyone. Let's do one last example here to kind of get you started. These can actually get a little bit tricky to think through. It's not that there's so much work, but they can be a little bit twisty. So make sure you make good use of Q&A forums um, and talk to tutors, whatever you need to do, check in with me. So I'll give you a little bit of a glimpse into this here. Um, we have a winch with a radius of two feet. So right here, this is our two feet and we're using it to lift some sort of heavy load. We know that it makes eight revolutions every 15 seconds, and we wanna find how fast the load is actually rising. So this can mess with people's brain a little because they're looking at this, let's say this is ground level, they're looking at this distance right here, and they're trying to figure out how fast it's changing, and uh, sometimes people don't immediately connect that to the circle. But notice, this is just all um, caused by this rope moving up, right? And the rope has to wrap around the outside of this circle over and over and over again. So the speed at which that rope on the outside of the circle is moving is going to be exactly the same speed at which the load is moving. So this really is a circular motion question. So if we just focus on that circle with radius two feet, we should be able to answer this question. So I'm gonna start out with the eight revolutions per 15 seconds. And that is almost an angular velocity. Um, so we could convert it to an angular velocity if you want to, or we can actually just go straight to a linear velocity. <coughs> because we should be able to say, so there's choices here, just make sure you show me really clear work or I'm not gonna be able to sort through if anything goes wrong. But we know that in one revolution, the um, the rope, any given point on the rope will have traveled all the way around the circumference of the circle. And the circumference of the circle is two pi times the radius. So we can actually do just a direct conversion from revolutions to feet. Uh, and that's what we want. We want feet per second. So notice we removed revolutions from this problem. And now we're just looking at feet per second. So we have eight times two, 16, 32 pi over 15 feet per second. And a decimal would be fine here. If you wanna leave that, that's okay. But I still feel like if somebody was actually interested in the answers to this question, they probably wouldn't be super thrilled with 32 pi over 15 as an answer. So if we go 32 times pi, over 15, we get about 6.7 feet per second. So, I mean, I actually think that's fairly quick for something that's very heavy. Um, okay, so this whole connecting the linear velocity of the rope to movement around the outside of a circle, this is part of it. And they'll even get a little twistier than that with multiple circles moving, uh, like a bike chain is one of them. So like I said, use the forums, get good discussion going, I'll jump in as needed, um, and just let me know if you get stuck. Okay, thanks for watching.